Hello and welcome to another Auto Life episode. In this one, I'm going to explain the challenges we faced when designing the S4R, the new S4R model, and we're going to talk about the acoustics and the sound insulation. Coming up. In 2018, we released the S4R 1.0 model and we gathered the feedback from you guys, from users, endorsers, engineers all over the world. You can actually watch one of the previous All Our Life episodes on that topic. But overall, we can sum it up into better comfort, into more balanced uh, frequency response and less leakage out. So, for example, vocalists, really hate when their click track leaks out into the microphone and that's what we focused on so the leakage out and better frequency response and comfort comes from the s4x model of course it's not just about the sound and isolation it's also about the serviceability and upgradability that we are keeping in the new s4r model Next, I will do the measurements of frequency response and insulation and come back to you with results in 10 seconds. And we are back with results. Over here, I have the first measurements of the S4R 2018, so the previous model. And as you can see, uh, the, the low mids were very strongly present. Uh, they are fairly balanced headphones, uh, especially for a closed design for recording a headphone, monitoring headphone. Uh, these were really, really good. With the feedback, uh, we did a lot of research and, and testing and, you know, we were playing around with acoustics a lot. And we came up with this design, frequency design, uh, which is fairly flat in the low section all the way to about 3K, where we have a little bit of a dip which is designed uh, so it's there for the contra gain of your ears to come in and step in, uh, in into that dip uh, and we have then continuing on uh, with another dip at 7k which is something we will try to fix going forward uh, it's a part of the design it's a trade-off to keep our promise of upgradability and cross-gradability uh, available to you guys and also serviceability at home. So this is something that comes from the chassis and we are not changing that uh, anytime soon. So yeah, we do know that is a problem, but it's not a massive problem because it's not wide, it's very narrow. Uh, so it's not gonna you know, hurt your performance at all, uh, especially these as for R being recording headphones. So their main job is to isolate. So let's check the isolation now. So when it comes to insulation, uh, so the leakage out is what I have measured. Uh, you can see the data over here. So it says for one, the old model 1.0 at one kilohertz minus 27 dB FS, which is roughly 95 dB. Uh, SPL inside the headphone or on your ears. Uh, so playing at uh, 1 kilohertz, um, they came at 29.5 dB with 1 kilohertz, so 29.5. And if we take a look at the new model, so the 1.1 model, again at 1 kilohertz we are at 27.56, something like that. So we have roughly 2 dB, 2 dB reduction uh, with 1 kilohertz. Now, keep in mind, 1 kilohertz is something that is really, really present, really strong and uh, goes uh, a long way. So another interesting one is this one. So it's 250. So 250 hertz is the low mids. Uh, this is where a lot of music comes out so if, if, if you were playing uh, a loud playback track, uh, play along track, um, the 250 is kind of a representation of that. So again 250 we can see that the old model uh, which is 27.6 um, basically pretty much the same as the 1 kilohertz did. 
um, and the new model is again at 250 doing at 20 uh, 20 dB right so it's uh, 7 dB better than the previous model and 7 dB in recording scenario when leakage out of the headphone into the mic is important 7 dB is pretty awesome if you are wondering when the new S4R will be available it will be in mid-march stay close stay tuned stay safe stay home use headphones oh and by the way sign up for the newsletter to get the sweet pre-order deals bye